Meghan Markle had the genius idea of starting her own lifestyle brand once she moved to California with Prince Harry. It's called American Riviera Orchard, which is the dumbest idea for a brand name ever. It's 10 syllables long and it doesn't make any sense. By the time you're done, you're like, oh my God. You're actually tired after you say (gasps) the name of the brand. American Riviera Orchard. Like Ten imagine syllables. having to, like those poor people who eventually have to make ads for it, who have to say it out loud for promotional purposes. Doesn't even have a good acronym. I have no idea what it means. All Every I know, single one will have a blooper reel where yes. they can't say it properly. It, per, like earlier in this year, she was trying to promote this and tease the launch of the brand, which still hasn't happened because it's been a, such a shit show behind the scenes. What she did to promote it was send jars of jam to celebrities. And some of them posted about the jam. Some of them didn't. I don't really know what the plan was. But it's gotten to the point where Meghan Markle can't even find someone to run her brand. She has been searching for someone to be the CEO of this lifestyle brand for months now. And no one wanted to take the job. There were no takers. So now Meghan Markle had to take over the role herself. This says she is now the CEO of American Riviera Orchard, according to one of the sources. She's like The Thanos. initial C- CEO search has not panned out so far. She was interviewing prospective employees for months after announcing the impending launch earlier this year. But couldn't find a suitable candidate. I guess she didn't want to be the CEO uh, originally because she wants her privacy on her Mm. worldwide privacy tour. Yeah, and she uh, would rather be the ambassador slash face of the brand instead of running the thing. Yeah. Uh, Additionally, an insider told Mm. Page Six that the brand had become a shit show behind the scenes with another noting that she has been keeping her cards close to the chest. It's going to be a good year for Megan specifically. She spent the majority of the year doing work behind the scenes to launch a project, a project in the first few months of 2025. She unveiled her new business venture in March, but nine months later, there's still no release date, no information about the products that customers can expect for sale. So this is all happening simultaneously with a rumored divorce or so-called professional separation between Mm -hmm. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry as well. That was just a week ago during Thanksgiving when uh, she released a statement after going to an event solo without him by her side. They're reportedly in the midst of a professional separation, whatever the hell that means. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know if it has anything to do with their marriage or if it just means they're keeping their public persona separate but the report suggests that their work relationship is in a very bad state why should you have a work relationship with your spouse anyway yeah that's a bad idea seems like a nightmare but it's all an arranged marriage for her own clout anyway so of course it has to be a work relationship and she could have just stayed as an actress and she could have been working on suits la with stephen amell right now she she was too good for that Uh, She wanted to be a millionaire, businesswoman, philanthropist, activist, advocate, podcaster. What are her opinions on Princess Di? Does she have uh, opinions on Princess Diana? I'm sure she's been asked about her. Her opinion on Princess Diana is that she wants to be Princess Diana to Mm. manipulate Harry, obviously. That makes sense. She has probably done hours studying Princess Diana on her personality, her mannerisms, the way she spoke to manipulate Harry yeah. and get him to do her emotional bidding. I mean, I, I have to imagine there's more to the story because people that want to become executives are ambitious by nature. You can't tell me there isn't some really, really ambitious dude or woman for that matter that wouldn't be willing to take on this role that couldn't have charmed her into giving her to the job. Is it because she's just that insufferable? Or is it because they looked at the business plan and they're like, this is never going to work? Like, I don't don't buy that it's the business plan. I think most people that, you know, seek to be executives want to build something out of what could foreseeably, could be perceivably nothing. So I don't know if it's the business plan. It might just be that she's really, really insufferable when they're doing the interview process to find the head executive. Executive. She's so insufferable that no professional wants to work with her. But really, no, it's because they're not suitable for the role. Yeah. They're not good enough for American Riviera Orchard. It's not me, it's you. 
they don't get American Riviera Orchard and the genius vision behind it and what it could accomplish. Why couldn't it just be American Orchard or... Um, Riviera Orchard, yeah. American Orchard, American Riviera, literally any, any other them. combination of those words, but yeah. you had to go with all three. I feel like it's also kind of a statement, like, I'm American and we're American now, F mm -hmm. the royal family. Is it just me reading into it too much? I mean, maybe. I like uh, that whole... Their exile from yeah. the, the royal family and from the UK in general. It's really interesting how many, like, there's whole channels dedicated to just royal drama that I find... Like Andy C. Noor. It's, it doesn't interest me, but her, her specifically is only interesting to me because she was on a trajectory to be just a perfectly okay actress who would have gotten work for as long as she, just like Amber Heard would have. Like if Amber Heard hadn't yeah. gone through what she went through with Johnny Depp and the fact that she's kind of nuts and uh, the whole thing made her look bad in the end, like she would be a perfectly acceptable TV actress working very regularly, probably getting lead roles or second lead role in ensemble shows and she would be perfectly fine. She could have been in Murder in a Small Town. She could, well, no, no, no. she no, could no. have been in. She she actually couldn't pull off what Christine Cruick pulls off in that show. She doesn't have she the do? ability. What would she be in? Well, she would be in like one of these CBS like fireman shows. That's what she'd be doing 911. See, like, she, that, that, that's the thing. She always felt like she was too smart for that. Yeah. She felt like she was too smart for Deal or No Deal. Mm-hmm. To, she was too. Well, yeah, it was sexist, She was too uh, smart to be a briefcase girl. She was always smart, too good for that. If Hollywood was smart right now, they'd be create some type of hybrid reality show with that dude Homath, and have briefcase girls. I don't know how it would work, but it would be great. It would be entertaining. That would be entertaining. Well, uh, another business failure for one of these celebrities mm -hmm. made me laugh. Jay Z's luxury cannabis company goes up in smoke. <laughs> after struggling to sell $50 joints. Was he just smoking his own supply or I, he's uh, rich enough that he can get high on his own supply it doesn't <laughs> that doesn't matter yeah it says the empire state rapper also known as sean carter celebrated as a savvy businessman look he is i mean other than what was what was the the one company the title title <laughs> other than title That's still around other than title which nobody uses or has ever used you know it's still a thing though they don't they it didn't shut down See, here's the, you know? the other thing like he's it says monogram uh monogram's website lists nine retailers across california and arizona well that's your problem you're dealing with california california somehow loses money on weed too because of high regulation and stupid government interference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The conglomerate behind it called the parent company. That's I, not ominous that's, at all. It's like the <laughs> it's like Umbrella Corp, right? The parent yeah. company. They burned through most of the $575 million launch and merged into another firm, which is in financial trouble. Experts on legal weed say it's been much tougher to break into California's market yep. and that Jay-Z's monogram products are overpriced and underwhelming. I mean, everything is underwhelming at $50 a pop for something like that. It I, just is. D I don't know. Maybe he just has trouble selling anything that's not music. Maybe. I mean, I, no, because he, he, he did clothes. He was always he? like, rock, yeah, Rock Aware was extremely successful. I've back never in even the day. heard of that. Oh, you're very young. <laughs> what? Uh, if you've ever been in a Burlington coat factory, you know what Rock Aware is. So it's, it's, it's <laughs> Rock Aware? Yes. That, that was a thing. Wow. Still is a thing. So it's not just him. Uh, look, I'll blame this on California. I will put a large amount of this, not just at the amount that they're charging, but California makes it extremely difficult to make uh, that industry profitable because California is stupid and overregulates everything. It's not just him, though. It is also LeBron James yeah. who founded his own uh, media company. I'm sorry. Uh, $30 million they lost last year. $30 million. Bucks. Yeah, it says, according to Bloomberg, though the company pulled in $104 million in revenue in 2023, it will still be finishing in red this year. They lost $28 million despite producing films like Space Jam and Shooting Stars. That's because nobody in their right mind would ever want to see a second version of Space Jam because the Michael <laughs> Jordan Space Jam is a masterpiece. Yeah. Duh. You can't really... You Make that happen. But again. you know who is who does do okay? 
and I, I was talking about this. So I've been recording some of these like more p politically focused celebrity videos. And one of the ones that I was talking about that I like the video that's going to come out on Saturday about George Clooney. One person who does know how to do this is Barack Obama who oh, yeah. has his own production company, Higher Ground Productions, which just re-upped their deal with Netflix this year. And I thought this was funny. I, I forgot about this yesterday. I just grabbed it right before we went live. Michelle Obama has a new uh, old person dating show coming out called Later Daters. That's not a bad idea. No, no. That's actually... Golden Bachelor no, is it, in right it now. It probably was not Michelle Obama's idea that no. she came up with. I'm sure it was well, someone Well, the point else, is you put her name on it. You put, their, you put the name Obama on it. Maybe people will watch it. That's not a bad idea. I have watched shows like that in the past. Yeah. I find it interesting I, because I, they, they have so much baggage and entitlement. What you, <laughs> what you learn from all of these things, though, is that whether it's celebrities or politicians, you can't really get by just doing whatever you do now. They all feel the need to branch yeah. out and do other things. Like, I kind of like the idea of there being like some big name actor who's like, you know what I don't need to do? I don't need to start a liquor brand. I don't need a vodka company. I don't need a whiskey brand. I don't need I, to promote sports I don't betting. need wine. I'm just going to bank my money. I'm going to put it into the right market and I'm just going to and I'm just going to act. But they don't do that. They all have to start some other brand. Well, didn't Meghan Markle and Harry start a media company as well? Yes, they have one as well. Well, a production company. Was it Archwell? Uh, I don't remember the. They, it's the one they announced when they did Oprah, right? Like, remember when right. they? Remember when they cried about how oppressed they were in the backyard of Oprah's like gazillion dollar estate? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean that was kind of the whole point. Is the yeah uh, sob story for Meghan, but. Archwell never really did anything. And I think they? most of like I think most of what they end up doing is like documentaries and small things like that. Like they're not getting on the ground floor of like the big budget productions. I would watch an Obama rea like dating reality show. What now here's what you know what he That'd needs to do. You know what he needs to do? He needs to get with Ben Stiller. And in the vein of Tropic Thunder, he needs to actually make the Ryan Gosling Obama biopic a thing. Like, he needs to actually make the meme real, and he might actually heal 10 years of race relations if Barack Obama put his name on the Ryan Gosling Obama movie. That would fix everything. A lot. It might. It honestly might. Yeah. Just, just an idea, guys. <laughs> you right. have the plan for racial harmony yes. in the U.S. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.